Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. And this is K-Check and another exciting season of teaching and learning. That's right, patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghalin na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Kaya naman apat sa ating mga daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, UP Diliman student Leah got into the weeklies with a score of 195. She is a freelance theater, film, and commercial actress who does improv and advocates for safe spaces. Sunod naman ay si Romy na nakakuha ng week's highest scorer natin with 280 points. He is a political science student at UP Diliman and a certified community volunteer hailing from Mindanao. He teaches English online to Japanese learners. Up next, we have Alec. He is a student of De La Salle University, currently studying business management. His hobbies are playing guitar and photography and comes into the weeklies with a score of 165. And finally, after an unprecedented tiebreaker win, Althea makes it into the weeklies with a score of 120 points. She is a second year student from the University of Santo Tomas. She is currently taking up BS Biology major in Industrial Biology. She plays flag football and is in the women's national team of the said sport. Grabe, no? Napakagaling ng contestants natin. They hold records for the highest scores. And we also have to give special mention to Altea who broke away from zero to hero. Kaya talagang kaya natin siya at dapat natin siyang gayahin. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First of all, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Next, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And last but not least, ang newcomer natin sa panel of experts, Professor To Austria of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, good luck as we go into our first round. Get ready to buzz in and hopefully with the correct answers which are worth 10 points each. Let's begin. Let's begin round one. Question number one. The most abundant greenhouse gas is H2O in the atmosphere. According to NASA, it is responsible for half of the Earth's greenhouse effect. What is this gaseous form of H2O? Alec? Oxygen. The answer is wrong. Romy? Hydrogen gas. The answer is also wrong. Lia? Nitrogen. The answer is also wrong. Go instead. Time's up. The correct answer is water vapor. Question number two. In music, the first single by a South Korean solo artist to debut at number one in the Billboard Hot 100 is what song by Jimin? Like crazy is the correct answer. Question number three. What six-letter word means to join two pieces of film, videotape, or rope? Alec? Splice. Splice is correct. K-check. Question number four. What do you call a very large city with a population of more than 10 million people according to the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs? Alec? Metropolis. The answer is wrong. Romy? County. The 
answer is also wrong. Athea. Tokyo. The answer is still wrong. Lia. <laughs> Province. The correct answer is a mega city. Question number five. What do you call the amount of solar radiation reflected from an object or surface often expressed as a percentage? Leah. Ultraviolet. The answer is wrong. The correct answer is albedo or albedo. Question number six. What six-letter word is the medical term for nearsightedness? Romy. Myopia. Myopia is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number seven. When the song Now and Then was released in 2023, it hit number one in several countries, including Japan and the United Kingdom. Which band recorded the song now and then, Leah. The Beatles. The Beatles is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number eight. Known as the Iron Chancellor, he united 39 states into one German nation in the 19th century. Who is this great German statesman? The correct answer is Otto von Bismarck. Question number nine. In art, what type of painting pictures inanimate objects arranged in an interesting composition like a bowl of fruit? Leah? Portrait. The answer is wrong. Romy? Still life. What is still life? Still life is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number 10. What is the name of the layer of the atmosphere found about 80 kilometers above the surface of the Earth? Which is full of free electrons and is used to reflect radio waves. Romy. Atmosphere. The answer is wrong. Alec. Stratosphere. The answer is wrong. Leah. Mesosphere. The answer is wrong. The correct answer is ionosphere. Question number 11. What popular beverage is associated with the Japanese garden? Yes, Leah. Ho garden? The answer is wrong. What popular beverage is associated with the Japanese garden called cha ni wa? The correct answer is tea. Last question. Probably named after an old trumpet, what is the name of the portable recoilless anti-tank rocket launcher weapon widely used by the U.S. Army in World War II. Alec. Carl Gustav, M42. The answer is wrong. Like the bubble gum, the correct answer is bazooka. And that's the end of the first round. Okay, thank you so much, Attorney Gabby, for that round. So after that, we have Romy in the lead with 20 points, followed by Leah and Alec tied at 10, and Althea na habol sa second round. Oh, base sa experience natin, mm -hmm. we can't tell at this point okay. kung sino ang mag emerge as winner natin. Ready na ba kayo for round two? Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Chef!
Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check with Romy at 20 points, Leah and Alec tied at 10 points, and Althea, who might just do a repeat sa paghabol, di ba, ng kanyang score. Now on to round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Welcome to round two. Let's begin. Question number one. Which board game ranked second to chess among the best sellers is played by two people with 12 pieces each on an 8x8 board? Romy. Checkers. Checkers is correct. K-check. Question number two. What Southeast Asian country will you likely pass over if you fly directly from the Philippines to Sydney, Australia? Romy. Malaysia. Malaysia is Malay. Leah. Indonesia. Indonesia is correct. Paycheck. Question number three. At altitudes of more than 100 kilometers, this spectacular display of lights may be seen in the Arctic region. Leah. Aurora Borealis. Okay, let me continue the question. What is the name of this phenomenon which is caused by the lines of force in the Earth's magnetic field? The answer is Aurora Borealis is correct. Key check. Question number four on inventions. What butter substitute was developed? Alec. Margarine. Or margarine. Let me, let me proceed with the question. What butter substitute was developed by a French chemist during the 19th century? The answer is margarine. That's correct. Key check. Question number five. In what city in Negros are the residents, including Seliman University scientists, up in arms? Alec. Dumaguete. Up in arms against a reclamation project. The answer is Dumaguete. That's correct. K-check. Number six. You can ride boats called gondolas in the approximately 150 canals in what Italian city? Leah. The, the river of... Romy. Venice. Venice is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. In the movies, what general term is given to motion picture photography, which is a category in the Academy Awards? Alec. Visual. Visual is male. Leah. Stop motion. Stop motion is male. Romy. Film. Film is male. The answer is cinematography. Nobody got the correct answer. Question number eight. In astronomy, what planet was named after the father of Jupiter? Leah. Jupiter. Oh my gosh. Romy. Saturn. Saturn is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What color's name also refers to an outdoor archery range or the area at the far end of a golf hole where the grass is kept shortest and on which golfers are meant to use a putter. The answer is green. Nobody got the correct answer. Number 10. Question number 10. Geometry. In square meters, what is the area of a triangle whose base is 25 meters and height is 20 meters? Romy. 250 square meters. 250 is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. In Philippine politics, which former general defeated Mir Miriam Defensor Santiago in the 1992 presidential election? Alec Ramos. Ramos or Fidel Ramos is correct. K check. Last question for this round. Number 12. Strawberries and cream is the popular food served in what annual British tennis tournament? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Wimbledon. That ends round number two. Let's see how you did, contestants. Of course, we have Romy with 80 points, 
Alec with 60 points, Leah with 20 points, and Althea with zero points. So what do you think? Are you guys confident of winning today? What about you, Leah? My score is not that high, but it's okay because I'm just like really happy to be here. Good answer. What about you, Ronnie, who's now in the lead? For me, it's still a 25% chance of winning because knowing that everyone can still catch up in the game later and we still have a lot to go through. Alec? Slim. But I can still win. <laughs> <laughs> there's still time. Of course, there's still time. There's every opportunity, as Althea would surely know. How do you feel right now, Althea? Mmm. Um, I'm a win, but I'll do my best to the end. Yes, you need to fight until the end. Happy today, no? Pero siyempre, hindi pa po tapos ang laban dahil ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng Keiche! And welcome back, everyone, to K-Check. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Let's do a quick recap of points. Again, Romy is leading with 80 points, Alec with 60, Leah with 20, and Althea with zero. Pero may chance pa rin na bumawe because it's the experts' turn to play quiz masters in our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. At sa ating panel of experts nga manggagaling ang mga katanungan para mas exciting so at this mas is mahirap. It. Mas mahirap <laughs> nga yan. Pero syempre, tiwala lang sarili. Okay, so this is it guys. Good luck. Let's begin. Okay, welcome to K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Dito sa round na to, Atty. Sobrang laki ng chance ng bawat contestant na makabawi. Oo, anyone can still win at this point in time. That's right. Okay. So, simulan na natin kay Prof. Neil. Unang tanong para sa Asian history. Ano ang tawag sa sword o espada na nagsisilbing simbolo ng tradisyong samurai ng Japan? Leah. Katana. Tatapusin ko lang yung mga choices. A. Bushido, B. Daisho, C. Katana, D. Kodachi, E. Turi. Lumitaw ang sword o espada na ito nung panahong kamakura sa Japan. Nawala sa mga samurai ang karapatang magdala ng sword na ito matapos ang major restoration nung 1868. Ang sagot ay letter C. Katana, K-Check. Na, umahabol na. Thank you. Up next. Prof. Marla. What is the main function of the enzyme amylase in digestion? Romy. Digest proteins. The answer is wrong. I'll read the options. A. Breaking down fats. B. Breaking down proteins. C. Breaking down carbohydrates. D. Absorbing nutrients. E. Breaking down lipids. Leah. B. Breaking down proteins. The answer is wrong. Amylase is found chiefly in saliva and functions to C. Break down carbohydrates. Talk, talk. Question for visual communication and design. This is one of the basic grammatical rules for visual language that derive primarily from psychological and cultural interconnection of the design and the viewers or audience. A. Experiential field. B. Sign or symbol. C. Pragmatics. D. Syntactic. E. Visual coding. There are three visual grammatical rules in visual language. One is semantics, using unit or sign. B is syntax, uh, it refers to the structure or composition. C, pragmatics, uh, is me, it's the meaning making in the visual language. 
So the correct answer is C, pragmatics. Thank you. Rock me. Tanong para sa world history. Sa anong bansa naganap ang revolusyong Bolshevik noong 1917? A. Croatia B. Poland C. Russia D. Serbia E. Ukraine Alec C. Russia Ang revolusyong Bolshevik ang nagtapos sa dinastiyang Romanov sa bansang ito at nagbigay daan sa pagtatatag ng pinakamalawak na sosyalistang pamahilan sa buong mundo. Ang bansang ito ang nagsilbing sentro ng Union of Soviet Socialist Republics na itinatag noong 1922. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Russia, Kaycheck. Next, Prof. Myla. Genetics. During which phase of the cell cycle does DNA replication occur? A. Prophase. B. Metaphase C. S. Phase D. Anaphase E. G1 The correct answer is C. S. Phase S stands for synthesis Thank you. Prof. Ko, go ahead. Uh, Asian art naman tayo. Oriental culture believes that the dichotomies of sign, example figure and ground, negative and positive, are inextricably bound together. This belief can be represented by the Oriental symbol A. Yi King. Leah. Yin Yang. Uh, are contiguously linked as one. No? The answer is Yin Yang. K. Check. Here. Tanong para sa Asian history. Anong imperyo sa India ang humarap sa pananakop ng mga taga-kanduran? A. Chola B. Gupta C. Maurya D. Mughal E. Palyava Kamag-anak ng mga Mongol ang nagpatakbo sa imperyong ito sa India. Tuluyang bumagsak ang imperyong ito matapos lumakas ang kolonisasyong Briton sa India. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Mughal. Next question. What is the study of insects called? A. Herpetology B. Entomology C. Ichthyology D. Leah. C. Ichthyology. The answer is wrong. Romy. B. Entomology. Over 1 million species of insects have been discovered, but it is estimated that there may be as many as 10 million species on Earth. The correct answer is B. Entomology. K. Check. Prof. To? Very timely Philippine modern design. The UP Fighting Maroons logo is a raised clenched fist, uh, symbolizing the UP community's <laughs> solidarity and university's tradition of activism. The logo is used for student activities designed by the creative team of Mr. Dan Matutina, a UP College of Fine Arts alumnus. When was the UP Fighting Maroons logo first used in the UAAP? A. Season 86, UP versus Lasal. B, 1986, UP champion with players like Paras, Magsano, and Altamirano. C, season 84, UP defeated Ateneo in the championship. D, season 78, when UP hosted the UAAP in 2015. And E, season 2, 1939, when UP joined as founding member of the UAAP. Alec. B. 1986. Malik. Ang tamang sa uh, sagot ay D. Season 78 when UP hosted the UAAP in 2015. Thank you, Prof. So, Prof. Neil? Tanong para sa Southeast Asian history. Anong pinakalaganap na reliyon o religion sa pangkontinenteng Timog Silangang Asia 
o mainland Southeast Asia? A. Animismo Mia Budismo okay, So, tatapusin ko yung mga pagbibilian A. Animismo B. Budismo C. Hinduismo B. Islam E. Christianismo Sa klaw ng mainland Southeast Asia mga bansang Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia at Vietnam Ang hinahanap na sagot ay ang tinutukoy na pangunahing reliyon na nabanggit ng mga bansa. Ang tamang sagot ay B, Budismo, K-Check. Next, Prof. Marla. In physics, according to Newton's first law of motion, an object at rest tends to A, accelerate, B, remain at rest, yeah. B, remain at rest. Known as the law of inertia, Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest tends to B, remain at rest. K-check. Ang intense. Oh. <laughs> Umiinit oh. ang labanan. Last question na po tayo. Prof. To, question, arts and design. <laughs> Tanong para sa uh, arts and design. This is special cue is considered as the most scientific and mechanical method of indicating depth on a two-dimensional field. It deals with a vanishing point on a horizontal line where lines converge. A. Diminishing size. B. Perspective. Romy? B. Perspective. Uh, tama. Uh, K check. Oh my God. <laughs> And I guess that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Romy, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score, wow. with a final buzz beater score of 125 points. We'll see Romy again in the semifinals when he competes with our other weekly winners. Sobrang intense ng fight, so thank you so much. To Leah, to Akala Alec, to Andrea, and of course, thank you also to our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Marla, and Professor To. Once again, I'm Jules Giang. And this is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check. K -check.